what's up guys it's mcnulty here welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all doing well so today is the release of the brave musketeers alliance quest i say release it's been out before but it does feel like a while since we've seen it and it's brought along with it a brand new five star hero so we're going to go ahead and have a look at constance today we'll see what she's all about um, she is featured alongside the lovely Milady de Winter and Queen Anne, um, who is the taunt specialist of this portal. Um, unfortunately, no um, Aramis featured. He is in there, um, and I know he's the one you want, but he's not featured. So anyway, we're going to have a look at our new hero. Let's see what Constance is all about. So first off, she is a holy hero. Um, she is of the rogue class, which is a fantastic class because she gets the chance to dodge direct damage from offensive special skills, um, which is definitely a useful skill both on offense and on defense. So good start for Constance. She is of the musketeer family as well. So they get the family bonus for one or more heroes where they get the chance to give cover to a random ally for three turns when they cast their special. While in cover, the ally takes no damage from special skills or normal attacks. And this character shares uh, up to, well, 60, 50 or 40% of the damage, depending on how many Musketeer heroes you have, uh, that would be received by the character in cover. Now, this is a good effect, especially on defense, um, because if she goes off and you're trying to target a, a hero that's not her, um, you're going to have a little bit more difficult time trying to kill that hero if they've got the cover effect on them. Um, the effect can't be dispelled. It ends if the character's defeated or dies um, and only one ally can can have cover at any one time which is kind of a saving grace <laughs> because if you could give cover to all of the allies uh, it would be pretty shitty to try and take out the team now moving on we have the passive which is the damage on special skill and cover damage so when she receives damage from special skills or in place of a character in cover, she has a 60% chance to deal 20% of the received damage to all enemies. That effect is actually really useful as well. I've, I've done things like um, hitting a whole team with a really powerful hero like Lu Bu, for example, um, and then I wonder why I've just received such a lot of damage after the hit. Um, but yeah, that can sneak up on you. It, it can be a really good effect. So the, the, we've seen, we've, we've had a chance now to see how well the family and passive bonuses work for these Musketeer family heroes. And I'm happy to say they work pretty damn well. Now, I'm not a huge fan of her art. I mean, she does obviously fit with the Musketeer family, but there's nothing super original. I mean, if you look at some of the other ones, I mean, just uh, the artwork on the other heroes seems to be there's a little bit more thought put into it. You know, that's the best way I can describe it. Uh, Constance just looks like an upgrade to uh, the three star hero that we've got in this portal. Um, what's his name now? I can't even remember um kitty's little brother i always call him this little guy <laughs> planchette like she's probably like his mom i would say um yeah there is definitely a resemblance there now the special skill oh no wait let's do the stats first so we're looking at 871 attack 906 on defense really good and 1759 in the health so pretty good balance stats across the board maybe a slightly lower attack stat than we've been used to seeing but still she's over 850 on the attack so she's doing pretty damn well um, now the special skill which is what we all want to know it's sword dance um not sure how i feel about that name but okay um she deals well she's at fast speed which is great now, at fast speed, she's going to deal 230% damage to all enemies. Hmm. That's pretty good, actually. At fast speed, that's a pretty decent hit. Um, and then all allies get plus 45% chance to dodge special skills for the following three turns. Each dodge damages the attacker for 100 damage. Okay. Now... This is a good special because it's running at fast speed. The fact that she hits all enemies, 230% damage is not nothing. It's a pretty solid hit and running at fast speed, it's definitely going to be a useful tool in your arsenal, shall we say. Now, the dodge effect on top of that is also useful. 
Um, and the fact that she is of the rogue class kind of works really well alongside the dodge effect. So I do like that. And I think that she could be an extremely effective defensive hero. Maybe put her in the flank position, I would say. And then she's just going to give the whole team the chance to dodge, survive a little bit longer to get their specials off. Now, is she a team killer? Is she a destroyer? Absolutely not. In fact, I don't think that she's going to be the most effective offensive hero. So on your attacking teams, um, you might be lacking a little bit in terms of the damage. You're still going to need those three tile matches to get her to fire off. And it's nice that the dodge gives an after effect with that damage, that 100 damage. The only problem there is that it's not 100 damage to all. It's 100 damage to the attacker. Um, so it's a single hero. But remember, she she does also have the family bonus and the passive going on where there can be ex extra damage dealt um, when she receives damage from special skills. So I would just say, I mean, this hero is a really, I would say she's sort of an average sort of hero in today's meta. I think that there is a lot of usefulness for her. But when you come onto the defensive team, I think that she is going to be an absolute hero i mean she's definitely going to um help your team to survive and help them to fire off their specials and last a little bit longer so pretty decent hero i'm not i'm not upset about constance i think i'd be happy to pull her i mean i'd obviously want <laughs> i want aramis a lot more um from this portal even Milady de winter i know she's running at slow speed but she's an absolute superstar um but yeah constance definitely does have her place um and i think it's probably on defense in the flank position for me now her her, her ether talent is the attack up ether talent which is good i mean she does really kind of need it um at the start of the battle she gets an extra 20 percent attack and with the max limit breaks uh the, the second limit breaks we're looking at like nearly 1200 on both the attack and defense and like 2400 on the health which is just absolutely ridiculous um so yeah congrats if you guys do manage to pull constance i think she's a good addition i don't think she's gonna destroy everybody else in the world though uh just 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 uh hear me out on that one um but it's interesting that they featured her alongside two other slow heroes they are new heroes uh, but they are still slow out of the two, I'd say Milady de Winter's the the catch, um, and Queen Anne. I haven't really ever struggled against Queen Anne, so I think that, I mean, while she does do a lot, I think that she's kind of a little bit easy to deal with. Um, in in my humble opinion, um, she is a little bit easy to deal with. So yeah, good luck in this portal and good luck in the alliance quest, guys. Hope you guys are going for number one. Um, and uh, please drop us a like, subscribe and uh, comment. Let me know your thoughts on Constance and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.